Okay, guys, I'm here today with Jake Shields. Huge mm -hmm. honor for me. I think like if you follow MMA and grappling, you know who he is. Like one of the toughest guys in the in the MMA, and also like really really tough on grappling. And uh, he just showed an entire structure all about the mount's position. And today he's gonna show us one of his favorite moves. That it's the arm triangle from mount. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I said, there's a lot. There's, there's a ton I love from mount. Mount's probably my favorite position. I think it's extremely underutilized. Like. When you run into someone with a good mount, it's miserable and terrifying. But yeah. most guys, you can just throw it off, right? Yeah. What do you, what do you yeah. say is probably true. Most guys, even black belts, you can throw it off. Yeah. Yeah. But when you do Especially run someone, no yeah, but we, yeah, that's true. No DD different. We do run someone with a devastating mount, though. It's miserable. You're like, oh, get me out of here. So we worked on a lot of things, but a lot of this is how to keep them out. So first off, we're just gonna go real quick to the video. But there's several things I'm doing. I'm trying to always smash his face away so he can't bridge up. I don't want to do it too hard, but you already see how he kind of grimaces. Yep, yep. I could also go under his lat. I personally yep. like to kind of grab his face right here. And now I'm keeping my hips really low, kind of curl them to my butt so he can't like push me away easier. He's, see exactly what he did? He's a good, every good black belt is gonna do what he just did. I need to isolate his arm. If not, I can, I'll go to hold here for a minute, but someone who's a top black belt, I'm not gonna go to hold here unless I isolate the arm. So I'm gonna come under here. Yep. Now I'm gonna start isolating it. Now, even an elite black belt, He's gonna have a lot of trouble escaping with one's isolated. He has one arm to push, and see my hips are down. If he starts trying to push my hip, see how I rotate this hip? Yep. So watch, he pushes my hip, boom, I stop. So now he's in trouble. I start finger crawl, finger crawl, I come through. Once I finger crawl, I see how I grab the back of his uh, tricep, and I grab his head. So from here, I'm smashing his face down. Now I'm pulling his head up, Now I come across. He's riding, like my chest is kind of suffocating him right here. I have a lot of them. I could armbar him here, I could try to take his back, or I could, I could uh, bar, or arm triangle, which is what we're gonna do now. So the most important detail in this arm triangle is, I don't wanna get off right here. This is gonna be a face smash, and it's not gonna tap out anyone good. I need to get my weight down. You need to pull it further down than feels natural, or my bicep is gonna come here, across, and cut off his carotid artery, which is right here, not there. That might, if you're strong, you might tap out some people there, but you're not gonna tap out elite people. Elite people are gonna hold on longer. So I drop down here. Very important, I'm pushing ear to ear so Bernardo can't get his arm out here. So see, I'm pushing there and I grab palm to palm. This is my preferred grip, and I'll even slide it here even tighter. This grip can work, but that's generally for bigger, stronger people. I know a lot, a lot of bigger guys like that grip, but I still think this palm to palm works better. Now I'm gonna dismount. When I dismount, I pull my foot up, you see how I go across right here on his hip. Now I slide. I put my knee on his hip. Now I drop my opposite hip to the ground. Now look, I'm gonna pull my elbow in, so I drop it. It's gonna be, it's gonna be a really tight squeeze. So I go here, and I'm, now I'm gonna, so all I do is I flex my um, my bicep, and I push in. I just wanna hit it once and I'm really hard, so I'm not gonna squeeze the whole time. So then here, so now look, I'm just gonna explode in. Oh my God, that is yeah, super you, tight. You see, it's like an instant, super, when you do it right, tight. it's like an instant, uh, Tap. So that's how you know when you're doing it right, when you're squeezing hard, you should get like a fast tap. There are gonna be tougher people that hold out a little longer or guys with different neck structure. So there'll be some differences, but a few details here too. Usually guys can turn this way and go under their arm. I'm able to stop that. When he goes to turn over, I just pull my shoulder away. He goes to turn, it makes the choke tighter. So that's one detail I use. There's others, but it's more in the, uh, it's more in the tape. So, Jake, many times yes. when I see people doing this arm triangle, mm -hmm. it takes time from there to, to tap the person. But if you always like, also click an arm bar, you know, like it goes yeah. so quick yeah, and I just, so I just explode it where the bicep comes across there. And I'm just pushing. It's not, it's not a lot of movement. I'm just pushing here. Another really important detail is my knee needs to stop you from coming into me. Because if I just go here, flat, Bernardo can walk towards me and there's no choke. Yeah. He might even get up. So I need to keep space and I walk the opposite hip. And that's when I drop the weight forward. No, it's amazing. No, it's yes. incredible. And I like the very first detail you showed as well from the mount. When you put the shoulder on my face, it's almost like you move my upper body a little bit towards this direction. Yes. And then the pressure can even stronger. Yes, I keep, I keep so much pressure. Because the reason I'm doing this is, well, one, it's miserable and makes it hard to escape. Uh -huh. But the important thing is, if I'm taking your head and I'm smashing you here, it does two things. One, I can't roll this way because there's rolling escapes from mount. So now I can only roll that way. So I only have to worry about one direction. Also, 
a good kipping escape, I come up. You got it. I keep your face smashed to the ground. So look, you can't get a good, see there's not that much power versus that, I get a ton of power. Oh, yeah. So oh, yeah. taking away your power, so it's hard for you to get out. Oh my God, no, man, that's incredible. Yeah, so guys, Jake just shot an entire structure all about the mount position. And I wish you guys were here in the water just to feel like how tight it is and how precise it is. And it's gonna be at pgjfanatics.com very soon. Maybe by the time you're watching, it's already there. So thanks so much, Jake, appreciate Thank you. it. Thank you. Please help me out to grow my YouTube channel. Just click subscribe. And to watch more videos, just click under see more videos. I hope you enjoyed. BJJFanatics.com. Use the promo code YouTubeFaria to get 10% off any instructional video. Improve your jujitsu faster.